These fields in South Australia are home to a little lizard that is so rare that it had been thought to be extinct for over 30 years until it was rediscovered in 1992. And the equipment you need to find it is, believe it or not, a fishing rod. Now, let's see if I can tempt him out with this. Oh, that's got... <laughs> Gosh. Now, come up a little farther so we can see what you look like. That is a very rare little creature. It's a pygmy blue tongue skink. And it lives in the holes that are made by trapdoor spiders. And this one is clearly very hungry. Come on, come on. Won't, won't you come out a little more? Come on, just show us. Oh, <laughs> it won. <laughs> Let's have a closer look. I can do that with this optical probe with this viewing screen on the end. He's quite a long way down. There he is. <laughs> All safe and snug. And he really is safe down here. Even a bushfire sweeping by wouldn't harm him. And of course this explains why no one had seen these little lizards for so long. They're very difficult to find. But what's really special about this little lizard is its family life. Just look at these shots that we got with that optical probe. That is a close-up of an adult's head. And there, just beside her head, is <laughs> a tiny little head of a baby. That's one. And if we push past her, there's a baleful look of Mum, who doesn't appreciate this. And beyond, two. Two more babies, so that's three. Quite a crowded little home. So there they are, a nice little lizard family. And the babies will stay in that crowded hole for three weeks or so before they're ready to be able to go out into the outside world and look for a spider's burrow for themselves.